Stan Jabalisco here. You are looking at an illustration of the principle of Ampere's law regarding current and magnetic fields. Any current in a straight wire or in any wire always sets up a magnetic field. If the current is a direct current and of constant amplitude, the magnetic field will be, have a um, constant direction and a constant amplitude. And that's the case in this illustration. The wire runs directly towards you in this illustration. And we use the physicist's definition of current, which goes from plus to minus, paradoxically. Uh, that um, convention apparently arose uh, from the time before the peop anyone realized that electrons, the actual charge carriers, travel from negative to positive. They just assigned one pole positive and one pole negative and said current flows from positive to negative and uh, took their laws and derived them from that. And it turned out that the, that the, that the positive uh, was deficient in electrons and the negative had too many. So the actual direction of the current in this wire, which runs directly towards and away from you, the direction of the current is straight towards you. And that is the direction of the conventional or physics defined current from plus to minus. When you have that situation, then you get a magnetic field that looks like, uh, well, whose um, can be defined as concentric circles around the wire, as shown here. And the direction of the magnetic flux is defined as that direction which appears counterclockwise when the current, that is the, correct, the conventional current, correctional current, conventional or physical current flows towards you. So uh, we simply define the direction of the magnetic flux arbitrarily. It goes round and round in this situation in coils. Uh, it has other shapes, of course. In circular wires, it'll produce other shapes still. But this principle called Ampere's Law simply states that the direction of the magnetic flux and the direction of the conventional current are related in this way. Uh, as things uh, turn out, uh, if you point your thumb of your right hand towards you, curl your fingers, then the direction of the magnetic flux flow will point in the direction of your fingers while the current points in the direction of your thumb. So they, so they call that sometimes the right hand rule for electric current. Ampere's law. That's the simplistic definition and I think it'll suffice for now so that you can get an idea of what physicists and other uh, engineers, electrical engineers, electronics engineers, and theoreticians are talking about when they're talking about the basics of Ampere's law. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.